Hey everyone, Jenna here. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own Wi-Fi jammer within eight dollars. So first, you need to buy this ESP8266. The link for this will be given in the description box below. And this is a development board, so be sure to buy the correct one, like this in black color. And then you need to have a power bank or a USB to micro USB cable to power this device. And that being said, let's get straight into the video. So first you need to download these two files, Arduino application and Wi-Fi jammer folder. Link for these two will be given in the description box below. Now open the Wi-Fi jammer and then go into the Wi-Fi jammer folder. Open the board url.txt file. Open it and then copy this link in the top. Now copy it and then open the Arduino application file installation is simple just click ok ok and then finish it so now go to file or press ctrl plus comma go to preferences and then in the additional boards manager urls paste the link that you copied after pasting it click on ok so now go to tools and then go to board go to boards manager option the boards manager option it will take some time to download first some things then after downloading this click on esp as i mean type on type as esp and this is the package that you need to install to make your board working now click on this and from the drop down drop down box select 2.0.0 don't select neither any other versions just select this and click on install this may take some time as the file size will be 150 mb approximately so wait for it to finish so after finishing it just close that and then now open Wi-Fi jammer again now copy these four codes of line from the text pad notepad and then go to Arduino click on file preferences And then click on the link that is below additional boards manager URL. This will open a file. Go to packages. Now go to packages ESP8266. Hardware. Again ESP8266. 2.0.0. Now go to tools. SDK. Include. And this folder is where you have to make the changes. Now open user interface dot h with wordpad. Not notepad, it's wordpad. And then go deep down. Go at last. Before in diff, make a space. And then in between, paste the four lines that you copied. So before pasting this, you have to close Arduino application. Now after pasting it, just click on save and then close. So as I didn't close Arduino. So let's verify first whether it's pasted or not. And if you go down, you can see the four codes. It's code. And now since I didn't close Arduino, I'll close it now. And then again I'll paste it. Again I'll paste and save that four lines of code. And that user interface dot h. So after pasting that click on save and then again close the wordpad window so close it now and then go to again Wi-Fi jammer and then click on the Wi-Fi jammer master Wi-Fi jammer now and again Wi-Fi jammer now click on ESP8266 dauthor master dauthor and now run this File. This is now this is the code that you need to penetrate into the A266 ESP. Now coming into this, go to first. These are the codes that you need to put on your ESP A266. Go to tools, boards, and then select the node MCU 0.9 ESP E2 module. After selecting it, go to programmer and then select Arduino ISP, not .org. 
only Arduino ISP after selecting that now you can upload it by clicking the upload button on the top left corner and it will say compiling sketch and you will be seeing some errors like that it cannot install it cannot open port like that something and so wait for it see what are all the errors that I get see these are the errors after changing the boards also it will say that same errors are being occurring no need to worry guys I will just tell you how to solve this error so wait out and watch for these errors See, I change many options even though it's not installing the code in the ESP8266. So before doing this, you have to connect your ESP8266 board to the computer. And now after doing this, to change this, solve this error, just go to Tools and Port and change the COM3 to COM4 or whatever. Try different ports option. As you guys can see, that now it's been successfully installing. The lines will come. It will take some time approximately 2 to 3 minutes. Now wait for it. After finishing it will say script has been written successfully. It's now uploading. And yeah, done it's it will say done uploading. So now after this you have to go to again to tools. See it's saying done uploading. Now again go to tools and then go to board and then select Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E module. Now, after doing this, you can now close this window and unplug your chipset from the computer. You have to power it on. So, this is how you program your ESP8266 to hack any Wi Fi network using this and make this as a jammer. So, if you like this video, hit the like button, and if you don't, hit the dislike button. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button to get more awesome tech videos like this. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next time. Until then.